to show you this product that I've picked up. I have been meaning to buy this for probably about two years. I first saw it on um, Stephanie Lang's uh, channel, I think. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Um, she's an Aussie girl who lives in Ireland. I think she's actually going back to Ireland, um, back to Australia again. But I love her channel. She does a lot of makeup things. Um, but this is a shampoo, and it's from um, there's the video Function of Beauty, and it's a shampoo that you kind of make up to match the way your hair is. So it comes in a little box like this. You can see got my name on it and here are the bottles not that big what can I put them up against well they are 236 mil so that one's the shampoo and then the conditioners just doesn't look it here but in real life it looks a bit lighter um, and when you make them up, you go through a process on the website um, and it tells you what kind of hair, well, you tell it what kind of hair you've got. So it comes with a little card here and it says profile. So my hair's wavy, but it's not at the moment because I have straightened it and it's also fine. I, I have got really fine hair, but I've just got a lot of it. And I get really greasy roots. Um, and then it says goals, anti-frizz, because I have to straighten it, oil control, replenish hair, strengthen, and thermal protection, because I do put a heat um, protector on it when I straighten it. And then the fragrance I've chosen, you get a, a different choice of different ones, but I chose the mango one and strong you can have it fragrance free I don't know if it says in here I don't think I can remember there are different scents that you can choose you can also choose the color of the shampoo or you can just have it clear let's give it a little sniffle remembering I've got COVID nose it's nearly two years now that I haven't been able to smell properly oh yeah I can right under my nose I can smell that's got a really nice mango scent in it what that is oh it's got like um a rubber sill on it and a lid but I don't know I just want to put this on in case I knock it over it also comes um with two pumps to add on to your um bottles now these weren't cheap let's have a look if it says on here how much they were Oh, it goes into different um, information here about the kind of hair care that I've chosen. Um, it's just saying that they've got other stuff like hair masks and things. Um, it's telling you how to use the shampoo. Apparently it doesn't, because it hasn't got all the sulfates in it, it doesn't lather up as much as your, you know, LV shampoo might. Um, the anti-frizz is to hydrate and soften hair texture while protecting strands from uh, frizz, static and breakage. The oil control is to stimulate and revitalise your scalp to promote healthy looking hair and control excessive oil. Replenish hair, replenishes um, nutrient depleted strands, reverses damage, protects your hair from environmental stressors. Strengthen, increases your hair's resilience and elasticity and protects you against hair breakage and thermal protect, uh, moisturize, moister, moisturize, condition, heat damaged hair while protecting strands from future damage caused by thermal styling. Um, so let me tell you how much this was. As I say, I got the shampoo and the conditioner and for both of those, it was um, it was twenty nine pounds, and with a five pound shipping, so I paid thirty four pounds. Now I'm gonna give it a couple of weeks, and I'm, I'm washing my hair tonight, so I'm gonna wash it for the first time in it. But I don't think it's really fair to um, come back to you straight away. I'm gonna give it a couple of washes with it and see how I go. It also comes with like um I don't know some little stickers that you can stick on your. Uh, bottles I don't, know, I don't know i don't know what 
I'm not six, I don't need any stickers, but I am excited to use this and see the results. So, well, what date is it now? It is 13th of January. This has just arrived today. I probably won't put this up now until February to give it a good try. I, I also probably won't use it every wash because... I like to swap my shampoos about to keep my hair from getting too greasy. But I might give this, I don't know, I haven't decided. Well, I'm just having a look, see how runny it is. Um, I haven't decided quite how I'm going to use it to give it a fair bash so that I can review it. So I'll get back to you. You won't be seeing this for a while anyway. Hi, so I thought I'd pop on quickly. I know I said I was going to come back in a couple of weeks when I've used the shampoo more but I've used the shampoo and conditioner um, tonight so I just thought I'd comb my hair through and just get a first impressions of um, how it feels. There's the hairbrush, there it is. So the first impression here is where I've got really over processed hair um, usually I struggle to get a brush through it and this is for me, going through it quite easily. Obviously, I've had it scrunched up in a towel, but yeah, it feels it feels. Got hair in my face. It feels like it's going through really nicely. What I will do is sometimes I let my hair dry naturally but it's really cold tonight so I'm going to get the blow dryer out on it and I'll report back and show you what it looks like. It's going to look a bit wild because I haven't, won't put the straighteners through until the morning but we'll have a look at it then. Hi, it's the next morning. I've just straightened my hair. <clears throat> Sorry. And my hair feels really super soft. Um, it feels nice and clean. Obviously I washed it last night. <laughs> messed it up now I washed it last night so I always tend to wash it in the evening and then straighten it the day after but yeah it feels nice um oop, I missed a bit got a kinky bit there uh it does feel nice it feels nice and clean it feels quite weightless so it'll be interesting to see if um so I haven't washed it today I probably wouldn't wash it tomorrow and then I'd wash it Sunday so it'll be interesting to see how the oils go um, in the meantime and I will report back. Hey lovelies, I just wanted to pop on quickly. I've washed my hair now for the second time um, using the shampoo and it is definitely more manageable. Um, here I used to get kind of real fuzzy bits um, because I did choose a a uh, frizz, what did I choose? I've got the thing here. Uh, a frizzies kind of complex to it because my hair does go frizzy and it's also kinky. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like it feels, I feel like it might, does it look a bit greasy? I can see my roots now. <laughs> um, I think where it's not frizzy, and it's smoother to my head, I then think it's greasy, but it actually feels really, really clean and lightweight. Um, you know, like well, sometimes when you wash your hair and you, um, it feels like you've got product in your hair after you've dried your hair and you've not put anything in it. So I think it's a case of me getting used to it because I'm not used to kind of sulfate free, um, shampoos and things but I am quite pleased with it. I don't know how I feel about the price point of £34 for the two. Um, I always kind of went mid-range with my shampoos so I would sometimes use the Kerastase, is it Kerastase? I think so. Uh, I do like the Elvive, I know that's a supermarket one um, and I also use the TG. I never used to use Pound Shop, Pound shampoo and conditioner I always felt like that was going to be cheap chemicals and not good enough for my hair so I always kind of went mid-range with like TG and that kind of thing and um what's that one Red Ken and things like that so they're not as expensive as this I'm going to keep trying it and I'll report back at the end 
Hi guys, back with you. I know this is a choppy video because um, I started using the shampoo and conditioner, I think it was back in January time. So I wanted to give it a real go rather than wash my hair once and go, yeah, it's great. I, I really wanted to see what I thought about the shampoo. I have used other shampoo in between because I always feel like my hair gets greasy. So um, sometimes I would use a TG shampoo and conditioner um, but the majority of time I use the function of beauty one now I started this video it must have hold on, I've got my email here I got it I bought it on the um, 2nd of January did I so I must have started the middle of January and it is now today is the 27th of April so I have I finished the um, shampoo up no i finished the conditioner up can you see that um <clears throat> i just gave it a little rinse out just because i want to use it all up and i've got about that much of the shampoo left so i thought i would talk you through my thoughts on it i washed my hair in it last night i've got the sun coming in well not the sun the light coming in on me and yeah i do know look there's some really pretty bad roots going on there <laughs> But yeah, I thought I would sum up and tell you what I thought about the shampoo. I've got a couple of notes here. <clears throat> and a frog, I've always got a croaky throat. Um, I've got some notes here. So um, I would say that it was a great wash. My hair, you know, I often feel like when I wash my hair that I haven't washed the condition, I haven't washed the product out enough. And it'll feel a bit like, khaki you know it feel a bit um just like this product in it it feel greasy and it didn't usually happen on the ends but it was always sort of the main section the head section of my hair and using this shampoo and conditioner my hair feels weightless and it feels so clean um and i really enjoy that um i always use the shampoo with the conditioner um i'm quite surprised actually that the shampoo lathers up nicely because um it's a kind of i thought it wouldn't because i thought things without kind of foaming ingredients and all the kind of crap that you get in other stuff whereas this is quite pure i didn't think it would but it did um so my hair was nice and clean the conditioner i don't have to um struggle because my hair has some bleach in it sometimes it's like rope after it's been washed and it's difficult to get a comb through it but i don't struggle with that um, what else have I got? Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, out of 10, I would probably give it, I'd probably give it a strong 9 out of 10. Um, the bottles are lovely, they come in different colours, um, not the bottles, the, ink, the shampoo, you can have it colourless or you can choose different colours. You can choose different scents. I chose the mango scent because I like my Body Shop mango um, body butter. So I, I just like fruity scents. It, and I think I chose it in strong. You can choose um, to not have any at all or mild or medium. And I chose strong. Um, it's a lovely scent. I don't... Yeah, I think I can smell it. You know, I've got my COVID nose. I still can't smell stuff, but... I'm pretty sure I can still smell it on my hair. Um, the packaging was nice. It, you get your, uh, where is it? Where's it gone? Oh, there. You can see they put your name on it. Um, the only thing that kind of held me back with this was the price. Now, these are the... 236 mil um, shampoos and conditioners that I got and I paid uh, <clears throat> £29 for the pair with £5 shipping so my total order was £34 and I ummed and I ahed about it. Um, I know that in uh, TK Maxx you can pick up uh, TG Bedhead shampoos and conditioners. I think you can pick them both up can you for around that price? I thought it felt expensive. And then I went back to, but 
I really like it and I always gravitated towards it in the shower. I always wanted to wash it because I knew my hair would be really nice the next day. I tend to wash my hair in the evening and um, I, it depends on the weather, sometimes I blow dry it straight or I sort of blow dry these bits because they tend to go in big hoops at the front and I hate that. Um, so I, I either blow dry it just so it's dry or I leave it to dry naturally and then in the morning I run the straightener through it so that's that's how I deal with my hair and so I've done all that last night and this morning and now it's half past one in the afternoon so this is what my hair's like it still feels I'm just cringing showing you because my roots but it still feels really clean there's no signs of grease at the moment. I do have to wash my hair every day. Um, I can get away with two days, but I, I just like the way my hair sits and feels if I wash it every day. But anyway, yeah, so the, so the price. I felt upset when I knew I wouldn't be able to have any more. And I just thought, you're just going to have to bite the bullet and buy some more then. Um, I do feel it's a little expensive. However, uh, this I think this comes from America, this function of beauty. And I found a um, UK kind of similar brand and I put in all my hair details. You have to do like a hair quiz of like whether your hair is wavy or whether your hair is greasy or whether your hair is processed and all that kind of thing. And I did the same for this UK one. I wish I could remember what its name was. I, I can't remember. Um, and I just did it online, but it came out at £70 for the shampoo and conditioner. And I just thought, oh, that's so expensive. You know, I might as well get the Function of Beauty one that I really like and I know works well with my hair. So yesterday I reordered. Let me just tell you what I ordered. Um, so remembering that this this one, oh, I'm going back again. This one is 236 mil for the shampoo and the conditioner together i paid 29 pounds 236 mil uh what can i put this against nothing but there it is <laughs> against the size of my hand oops um so yesterday i ordered a bigger size i ordered the 473 mil so that's double this size i think they're kind of like a little bit like the tg um tube size and for the shampoo and conditioner, um, I paid £39. I paid £29 for half of it, half, half the size. Um, because what I've done is I've kind of done a subscription thing where I will get a new one sent in six months' time. Um, this has taken me four months to use. Um, but I have been chopping and changing with other shampoos that I have been trying to finish up. So I just have to see how much I get through in the six months until they send me the new one. So for the shampoo and the conditioner in 473 mil each was £39. Um, because I got the subscription, the shipping was free. I got a new subscriber discount of £7.80. I think that's because I have subscribed. So in total, I paid £31.20. Now in total, last time, because I had to pay shipping, I paid £34. So I've got twice as much shampoo for a uh, five or less, basically. And that is where we're up to. Would I recommend it? Yes. Is it a little bit expensive? Yes. I, I actually, I bought, you probably would have seen that video. I bought some shampoo and conditioner in Primark. It was a pound for each thing and it's absolute shite. It's rubbish. I'm not going to be using it. I probably wouldn't even use it on my dogs. Um, so, where was I going with that? Oh, I was using up other shampoo. I'm not going to use that up because it's rubbish. So, yes, I have repurchased. Yes, I would recommend it. No, unfortunately, this isn't a sponsored video. <laughs> I bought these myself um i always see them on um um well i did used to see them on instagram until i got hacked i still haven't got that account back but i see them on facebook and things like that um they worked really well for my hair i just it was so long ago i can't remember what i said about my hair but um 
you'll remember well if you watch me for a long time I used to have sort of waist length hair I had it cut up it is um colored I have well, I don't really know why because <laughs> my hair is so dark still it's stubbornly I do have some greys can you see them is that one I have got some greys but my hair is stubbornly dark at 54 so I have um dark put on the underneath part of my hair here and he puts like a dark colour on it just in case there are any greys or anything that I don't want to see um and then I have pretty much I suppose like a t-zone of um I think I think it's bleach highlights so I don't know what he does I don't know what he does but I've got coloured and pro I've coloured and processed hair um it's I've got a lot of hair but it's incredibly fine it's nearly baby fine my hair um it has got a wave to it got oily roots and processed dry ends and this stuff really worked for me I hope you enjoyed this video um let me know if you've ever used it if you think I'm mad for spending that much on shampoo some people have just got I don't feel like I've got nice hair you know some people have just got lovely hair my friend Carolyn she used to let her daughter when we, we used to go on holiday together when our kids were about five and she used to lie on the sunbed with her beautiful long straight silky hair hanging off the bottom of the um sunbed and her daughter used to get pool water and pour it on it and pretend to wash it and then she'd get up and her hair would have dried and it would be beautiful I would have had to cut mine off I would have had dreadlocks like Bob Marley if I ever let my kid do that to me so I don't I feel like I haven't got nice hair and sometimes I do get split ends more so now actually because where I used to have my long hair I just used to wash it and plait it and leave it I never used to blow dry it never used to use the straighteners on it I very very occasionally used to curl it so it I do feel like it's not in its best condition now but I do like the results of this shampoo Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video and I didn't ramble too much, please give me a cheeky little thang, thangs up, <laughs> thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will see you back in my next video.